So how in the heck are we going to get this into this? Welcome to SETI Astro. Okay, let's quickly go back through Glimmer. Let's get some cool detail in the core. And then let's, uh, let's merge it back with the image. So I'm going to click on the, the Glimmer shortcut. Zoom right up here to the core of Andromeda. Shift click to make a center. And then my initial guess, maybe about that big. I'm going to have to bring the max down. And Andromeda is very, very elliptical. So let's, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's very elliptical in here. Yeah, let's uh, do something like that. And we might as well add the additional modeling because there is a lot of different structure in here. And we'll let the center PA and ellipticity kind of float as it tries to find the, uh, the correct proportions in there. I also don't want the quick preview and we want to make the steps pretty small. So we have an accurate model here. And this is probably going to take, you know, five, five to ten minutes. Uh, I, I, it's a big image and I'm doing a, in a ton of steps. So I'm just going to go ahead and click fit model and I'll be back when this is done. Alright, the modeling is done and here's our residual. So what we want to do is push the model and the residuals to slots. We're going to use the model as our mask in order to get this data into our image. So let's go ahead and we'll push the model to slot one, and then we'll push both our uh, residuals into slots uh, two and three, just so we have them. Now we can go ahead and close that. So here's the stretched residual. Here's the unstretched one. Here's the model, and then here's you know our, our full image. So with our model, we're going to want to blur it some, uh, but this is this is going to be our mask. This this will be perfect for using our mask. So I'm going to open up our convolution tool and give it a, a healthy a healthy blur and check out the preview. Maybe we want even more blur. There we go. All right, so now here's our blurry model and we wanna push this to be a mask. So just click your copy button and we're gonna go from slot one and we wanna put it into a mask. So we'll put it in mask slot zero. All right, and now if you right click over on your mask, you can see here's our preview. It's, it's over here as a mask. Now let's go ahead and, and look at these. We may want to do our own stretching, or maybe we'll just fiddle with the stretch that was already uh, previously done. But either way, it, it's just a matter of um, trying to bring out what you want in this glimmer residual. And we want to really try to highlight some of these uh, dust channels and stuff in here. So I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just go, go a bit crazy like that. So now here's our residual, here's our image, and we wanna put those two together somehow, right? So we'll keep it on slot zero. We'll click mask slot zero as well. Now it's gonna say there's a mask applied. And image combination tab, that's where we're gonna wanna go. So click image combination tab. There's a, a button here for combined luminance only. We're gonna want that. So now we're only going to be manipulating the luminance in here. We were in slot three with our other one, our residual. And average is, you know, that's, that's a, a good first, first look. You're probably not going to want average. So I have multiple modes here. Uh, blend is a good one. So blend, if you're straight in the middle, is averaging that's all it is and if you're all the way on the left it is just the original image and all the way on the right 
is a complete substitution of our new luminance data. And, and we really don't want that. So you could play around. I'm gonna keep it right, you know, kinda in the middle here um, as the, the blend mode, which is very close to an average. But there's other stuff you could try in here, right? There's a screen where it's gonna screen the two different luminance layerings together. And again, there's, there's an opacity for how much you're gonna blend in of that additional data that we had from the residual. So it is a matter of you just kind of playing with some of these various modes. I personally think the, the blend is probably um, gonna tone the core down a little bit and allow some of those darker lanes to come through. So I'm just gonna apply the output here to slot four and click apply combination. And now we have our, our new one here. I also wanna say in the image combination, there is, there is a show mask, which the red area is the masked area and then the lighter colors, the more transparent it is, the less it's masked. And you have the option to invert the mask right from here too without having to fiddle with your slot. So now we can go ahead and zoom in here on our core area. And if we look between slot one, which was the original image, and slot two, you could see that the core was tapped down a little bit. Now we got a lot more dark dust lanes and structure coming through. Again, here's the original and the residually combined one. So that's a, a quick way on taking the glimmer data and getting it into your image. And it all comes down to using the model it created as gear mask. And I think... Um, If you're just stumbling around, it may take you a second to, to get to that conclusion, but that's really what you wanna do. You wanna blur your model and use that as your mask because it's going to perfectly mask what you want to blend in with your image. Well, I hope this was helpful on how to get data from Glimmer into your post-processed image and help you start revealing the cores of these galaxies a lot better in, in, a, in a way that's you know more presentable. You could always, you know, show this uh, as an aside, you know, a, a part two to your image of what the actual residual looks like and what data you want to, you know, show everybody. Um, but to make a to make a pretty picture, you, you, you're going to want to blend a little bit like this. But having something like this at your fingertips here uh, for a more detailed look into it, it's it's pretty invaluable. Well, I hope this video helps some of you that have been trying to put Glimmer data into your own Galaxy images. Please comment, like, and subscribe.